Jesus on the edge of the spirit In a nutshell, country music is your cheating heart and cowboy music is home on the range. Chip and I ended up playing together and working together a lot of times because we haven't got, I mean, there's not really not a whole lot of options out there. If you want to do what it is we do. You know, there's just not, you, I mean, when we started Cowboy Nation two or three years ago, it's like you go up and you tell people, do you want to, hey, you want to be in the band? Oh, what, what are you guys doing now? Oh, we're going to do cowboy music. What? Cowboy music generally can and should be a lot more rough and ready than country music. I mean, there's some like like all that Tex Ritter guitar playing stuff is you know. I mean, we've really had to work on the brother thing, mm. and not let not let like those weird like brother fights happen and that kind of stuff. Because Tony's got a really good ear, and a rehearsal usually at the end of every song, he'll like tell me what I did wrong, <laughs> and um, and and I trust his ear, so you know, it's 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 no problem. It can be brutal now and then, you know, especially after every song. <laughs> Like a, it, it sounds less like two short phrases, one more, more like, one more like one more. You can really tell the difference between mine and Tony's songs. Tony's are more, a bit more thoughtful, and mine are the, you know, the Moon and June type songs, the real simple kind of stuff. I kind of write those kind of lyrics. And I loved the opportunity of, of working within just like the lyrical ideas involved in, in the West. We were playing some songs that we've actually always played like uh, Old Paint and Cowboy's Lament and that sort of thing. And we figured, you know, forget hillbilly music, let's play cowboy music, you know, because that's, well, it's perverse, you know. It's <laughs> scene is really uptight. Yeah, it's really fucked up. It's kind of like the bluegrass scene where where they want, they're not really into innovation. The cowboy scene is full of hobbyists, school teachers, people who play children's music, 
you know, B movie enthusiasts that you know, very few professional entertainers. Which it, which it used to be all professional entertainers. I mean, Gene Autry is not a cowboy. He's a professional entertainer. So is Tex Ritter, you know, Marty Robbins. All these people. They weren't cowboys. They were professional entertainers. There's a tremendous amount of dress up in it and uh, uh, fantasy, make believe. You know, you you look at some of these people and you just go, oh my God, I, you know, where, what did they do the rest of the time when they're not at these kind of things? 